Hey guys, it's Kogan3 and welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last part, we finished Skull Dungeon. In this part, we're actually gonna go to Crescent Island, because that was just what it selected automatically. And I think there's actually something nifty we can do. I can't quite remember if it's in the present or if it's in the past. I think it might be in the past, but I'm not certain. So we're gonna check... Excuse me, we're gonna check it out. Um, it's down here. Okay, it is in the past. Um, so... Tune of Echoes Plus! So we can use this warp point over here. And go back into the past. And therefore do a few things, I would say. What? Yes, rather. Yes. Indeed. Um, so. Sorry for the random outburst of pure British, but... So yeah, now that we've got the switch hook, we can actually use something in this cave. Uh, also, off screen, I opened, I planted a gasher seed, and I also opened one up, which contained a ring, which is pretty funky. Oh, you can't do anything yet. You need L2. That's right. If you're wondering what all the L's were about, uh, it means it's level. So we've got the level one sword, the level one anything really. Um, so, but, however, we are now going to go back to Lina Village, uh, slash Lina City if you're in the future, slash present. Ah, time travel is confusing. Um, I've said that several times, or I've made references to it. Um, however, I think you can actually do something in the mayor's house, uh, at this stage with... I have a feeling I'm going to walk onto a sign. And I don't know why. Let's see if I'm right, shall we? Ooh, I was wrong in every sense. But hey, better safe than sorry. So, yes, here's the mayor. How you doing? Yeah, I think we can reach that with a normal switch hook. We shall see. Damn it, Merlin! I don't know who Merlin is, but I'm damning him. Link, stop jumping. Maybe Merlin's the guy who made the switch hook. Right! So you still need the other thing! Yay! That's just fan freaking tastic. So, uh, now we are going to follow the Maple Tree's advice. And we are going to. Ooh, maple, 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 maple! That's exactly what she advised us to do. BAM! What's this? Only the book fell out! How could that be? Hey, that book! Yoink! That's the touching book I need to take to Syrup. Where do you have it? Let me read it. What? Oh my. Ooh. <laughs> How touching. You got the magic ore. It cuts a mean wake. <laughs> That's a weird phrase. Thanks. It was good. Take this. It's the first one I made. Syrup never gave me any compliments on it. I'll keep this book. <laughs> ah, you big pansy. Um, so, in case you were wondering where we might need to use an oar, think of someone who likes boats and sailing stuff and such like that. We're going to the past, mother frunkers. Mother frunkers. <laughs> what does that mean? To frunk someone? Um, yeah, that's that's new slang. Don't know what it's slang for, but yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh, I thought I had a gasher seed planted there. I was wrong. Um, not sure why, but that made me think of an old Rugrats game I had once. Actually, I think we still have it, we just never go on it because it's intended for like seven year olds. How you doing? Hey, how goes the rafting? I'm thinking of entering a raft race, but I haven't been able to find a decent ore to race with. Give her the magic ore? Yes. Whoa, that ore. It looks like a toy, but I like it. Thanks. In exchange, I know. How's this? Lazily playing guitar while gazing at the moon is so nice. Got the sea ukulele. It has a sweet sea scent. Uh, ukulele. Ukulele, ukulele. Dun dun, ukulele, ukulele. Oh, ukulele. Doesn't even vaguely sound like Amadeus, but what you gonna do? Um, I can't remember who you give the ukulele to. Hence my random ukulele thinking song. Um, trying to remember, but I give up. 
So, I think you actually want to go up in the past, because I think, didn't we ex Yeah, I think we explored to the north previously, in the present, and we saw that it kind of went off into nothing. Here's something we can finally do with the one we have! Yeesh! <gasps> it's a Zora Man! Oh, I miss the smell and sound of the sea. Oh, that's convenient. Give him the sea ukulele? Yes! That ukulele has the spirit of the sea in it. That smell. That sound. It's good of you to respect your elders, kids. I see you're on some adventure. Well, I give you something old. This is the hero sword that a great hero gave my ancestors long ago. Yay! Oh, wait, it's broken. Yay. Hey, it's broken. What's that? It's broken? <clears throat> ah, what a great sound. You bitch. But we can get that fixed right now, guys, I think. Um, and that's what we're gonna do in this part. We're gonna get L2 sword. We're gonna go! I hope. Um, we can't go up there <laughs> in the past. So we're gonna have to teleport using the thing. We're gonna have to teleport into the future, and then we're gonna warp over. But, yeah, because it's... Oh, we... Oh, zoo! <laughs> I didn't know you could get the L2 sword at this point in the game. We're only like halfway through. That's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, warp seed up to Sunken City, please. And hold no places for the onions. Um, except if they need a place, because, you know, we're not going to deny them. I'm not going to deny a place to an onion in need. If they really want to set in, we can... I think we can allow it just this once, you know? But don't tell the manager he's got a bit of a thing against them, you know? Just... I mean, I've, I've been too afraid to ask myself, but he's just got, you know... Just don't go there, really, I think is probably the safest bet. Um, so... Help me, I'm being attacked by everything in the world. In the world, I tell you. Um, yeah. I should probably just cut ahead to when we get back to... What's-his-face's house? But, you know, I'm gonna be talking, so, you know, you might as well watch me going! Um, or equally I might edit it out, I don't know, it's just because... It's gonna be awkward. It's gonna be awkward, yeah, it's gonna be awkward! Awkwardness is my middle name, except it's not. It's Samuel. That's right, now you know my middle name. Whoa! Um, yeah. <laughs> so I've got two pretty common names, really. Joe, Sam. So, you know. I'm not going to tell you my last name, because the people who know it, know it. And the people who don't, I want to keep it private from, because, you know, I don't know you that well. Um, if someone posts it because they know my last name, then I hate you. Um, yeah. Just plain and simple. Because uh, if I wanted people to know my name, I would tell them. So, you know. It's pretty simple. Why am I going all the way around here? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I was meant to go to the warp point, but it was, of course, over here. Hooray. Hey, now you stinker. Hooray, see them. I don't know why I call him Seed Link. He doesn't really look like a seed anyways, but... What do you think he looks like then, huh? 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 Mm. Yeah. He's being Bob Dylan there, apparently. Um... Yeah, I do impressions of all the great musicians. Um, uh, Bob Dylan. David Bowie. <laughs> That's probably it. And the weird thing is, I'm not even doing doing an impression of David Bowie whenever I do it, or David Bowie, or David Bowie. Anyways, I'm never actually doing an impression of him. I'm doing an impression of Flight of the Concords, doing an impression of him. Because I haven't actually listened to David Bowie. Bowie, Bowie. Oh, the Wizard's Priest. Yeah. So, I'm freaking. Sound like Rao Cow. Because he says freaking sometimes. So. We're back to What's-His-Face's house. I haven't seen you in a while. If you come all the way up the wall, you must need something fixed. But my uh, uh, delicate ceremony is more difficult now. Do you wish to try? Oh, yes. But in the next part, because we probably won't have time to do it. We just gotta do this shit again, and it's gonna be harder, but we're gonna get the next sword, bitches! So, I'm gonna see you then. Goodbye.